let's start by laying the groundwork of that word sustainable. Um, we hear it a lot in the food world. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how you define sustainability as it relates to seafood and NOAA fisheries. Very good question, and you're right. Sustainability means a lot of things, and I think it's continuing to evolve. Fundamentally for NOAA fisheries, sustainability means production that is done in an environmentally responsible way. People also need to understand that sustainability, it really is a triple bottom line because not only do you need to take into account the environment and the resource itself, but you also have to think about the social and the economic sustainability. If you really don't have those three things, you're not gonna have a sustainable fishery. Could you describe the main tenets of how fish are regulated here in the U.S.? We regulate wild capture fisheries primarily under the idea that every stock or complex of fish is allowed an annual catch limit. There's only so much that fishermen are allowed to take out. And more importantly, we are monitoring that resource all the time. Things are changing in the ocean at all times. It's not always overfishing that gets a fishery overfished. There's a lot of environmental changes. Mm. If you want sustainable seafood from wild capture fisheries, it is not a, a destination. It is an ongoing journey of scientifically monitoring and adjusting and making certain that if all of a sudden you've got some overfishing going on or a change in that stock, that you modify and hold accountable that fishery to reduce take. Other times you may see a, a bumper crop of recruitment and new fish coming in, so you get to raise that annual catch limit. The point is it's gotta be a very dynamic process right. that is transparent, held accountable, and enforced and that's really what we have in the United States and that's why it's working so well. And that really underscores the limitations of, for example, one of those cards that's printed out once and it shows, you know, red, yellow and green fish in different categories. Fisheries management is constantly changing. It's very dynamic like you said. So those cards go out of date and are no longer accurate very quickly. Yeah. 